constitutes a good CV and how do I make it? So uh, let's start with Dr. Pradeep. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, CV should be very organized and structured. Um, and it should be devoid of any mistakes. Um, and uh, don't miss out any experiences. So okay. that's all I can give. A perfect CV, you say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flawless. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ravi? Yeah, so um, like Dr. Pradeep said, obviously make sure when you're writing your CV, it is structured well. You have to check it not one time, not two times, 10 times read your CV. It should not have any spelling errors. But apart from that, how to actually build your CV, if you're asking that, uh, I would say you need to have at least one experience in every field. So let it be maybe you don't need to do some big research. You could just write a case report. You don't need to have some fancy presentations. Just a simple case report or a poster presentation is good enough. Um, and when you move on to say volunteer work or social work, um, instead of having five different things, I would say if you're part of one specific or one organization and you've been a part of that organization for years and you show that you've grown through that organization you've climbed up the leadership that really shows mm -hmm. them that you're capable of growing and like taking an organization forward so that's how i would go go you know starting from first to second year and uh, apart from that that's probably what I would say as general advice. Um, more specific, I think if you can go on for an hour talking about how to prepare a seat, I'll let other applicants answer as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there something anyone else wants to add? I, I guess I would say that um, it's a it's a complete big presentation of how to create a CV and how to go on with it, like how to build a CV. As Dr. V mentioned, like you need to uh, fill in something in each section. Do not leave anything empty. Do not leave any like if you don't have a volunteer experience, do it, create it, make it. So I would say like if you do not have a job experience or something, it's okay because you're a fresh graduate. But if you have a gap year and you did not nothing to complete that months, I would I would say like each month if, if there's one month gap in your CV, that's fine. But if it don't leave more than two to three months of gap in your CV, so doing like I was preparing for step one, I was preparing for step two. This is like considered lame because US graduates do not get <laughs> enough time for preparation of uh, exams. So you're not supposed to write, I was doing this. So I would say start scratch from scratch, take a rough paper and use your uh, timeline, build on this, what you did in this. And if there is something you're left and try to find something you did or create one you could, you could do. A good CV is one, number one, that has nothing, uh, no section is empty. Even as he said that, uh, Dr. We said that you do not have to do a big meta analysis or research thing, but you have to put something on research publication thing, even if it's an oral presentation. You could write okay. that I gave the gave this oral presentation in this symposium or something. And again, it should be well structured, grammar should be checked, make up ask your mentors to look into, into your CV. If there's something missing, are you using too many of uh, medical terminologies which you are using in your home country instead of uh, which what is absolute in US? So uh, the procedures, mm -hmm. mostly we as I did chest tube intubation, I did this, I did that. And this is like a big amount of hurdles you are like trying to push. What if someone asks you that, how did you do this thing in, in your interview? And you actually did not do it. So. Uh, Good amount of good CV would be where you did not lie. When like you can say <laughs> everything you did, just mention what you did in a good way. And like again, a good uh, volunteer experience where you did. I, I had personally created an organization which was against child sexual abuse prevention, and I I have been doing this work continuously. So I did not write five volunteer experiences. Even if I wrote two or three of them, I was able to talk about that with patient in my interview so that they could see that I was so much into child health, any sort of child health. I could do a fellowship in child abuse thing. So this is like be passionate about something. If you have a great hobby, write about that hobby and be passionate about it. 
doesn't have to be yes. soccer all the time it doesn't have to be playing chess all the time bring <laughs> anything you could make poetry you could do anything so this, this is a big amount of uh, presentation I, I could give on uh, building a good cv but yes get a check make it structured and start from the most recent thing obviously i've seen a lot of cvs that are like uh, what you did from intermediate or matriculation or uh, graduation start from the most recent thing you are doing and go backwards so this is how it is wonderful wonderful i uh, i'm really glad that you uh, you brought your uh, child thing forward i'm really congratulate you for that <laughs> I don't uh, know the exact name, so I mentioned it a little informally. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Pradeep, please go ahead. Yeah, so if you are affiliated any uh, with any organization like uh, ACP or ACC, uh, any any professional organization from the US, it would be very very, very boosting. Uh, that that's what I felt during my interview with Thomas Hospital, where I matched. Because they asked me, why did you uh, apply? Why did you have membership with ACP? So I told that uh, I was very okay. passionate about ACP, and uh, I follow regularly follow their journal updates and everything else. So I think adding those organizations to the CV would be a very good uh, boost to the CV, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. I, okay, I, I have a personal that. question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Dr. Rishi, is there something else you want to say? Uh, no, I was just uh, highlighting what everyone said. Like uh, in the CV, just make sure every column you are filling in, there has to be something. Even if you did some random oral presentation on fibroadenoma, if you have written it in your CV, just make sure that you are able to talk about you it know. for like under a minute, whatever is there. And like yes. Dr. Pradeep mentioned, that if you join um, some uh, organizations like ACP and all, just make sure that you've joined it for the sake of it or not because you had this forty dollars in your account and you wanted to take a present, uh, take uh, participation in an organization. But know something about it or at least make an effort to present cases or case reports into it. Even if you get rejected, it doesn't matter. Like one of my case reports got rejected and it doesn't really matter. But at least. If someone would have asked me, I would have been able to tell them confidently that yeah, I wanted to present a, present the case report there, and that's how it is. You have to just sell yourself through your team. That's the only thing you have to do. Okay, so uh, I have a personal question to you. Do you think like apart from if you do volunteering in something that is not related to medicine, like normally an NGO or something like that, so does it count as much as you? like if you would have done it in a medical field or something like that like how much uh, balance uh, how much uh, difference does it make if you do it in a medical or a non-medical uh, organization um i can um, that um i had tons of friends who did volunteer experiences that weren't really related to medicine so you know like teach for india or uh, that's one of the avenues I know that a lot of my friends actually went forward and went through with that volunteering experience and it definitely helps. It basically shows volunteering experience is it's good if it's related to medicine, but even if it's not, it's basically to show that you like giving back to the community. Uh, so that's something that okay. should be displayed in your volunteering experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be connected to medicine, it's good if it is, but it's not necessary. Any kind of volunteer volunteering experience definitely adds to your CV. Okay, 